I was born in a city called Jhelum. It's in the Punjab area. We arrived in 1970. My father had come previously at around 1965. So he came over here, settled, got a job, found a home. And then he called us over in 1970. My mum, my brother and my sister. So we arrived in 1970. It was such a foreign place. What Britain or London was, I couldn't even imagine because there was no TV or any pictures of London. You had the radio, I guess, but even that wasn't something common in all households. It was just what people were saying, what my grandparents or mother would speak about London. When I first saw London, it was such a huge, crowded, overpopulated place. I was around nine when I got here. My dad was sharing a house with another person who also brought over their family at around the same time. So we were living in the top part of the house and the other family was living in the bottom part of the house. So at the time, it was around two, three rooms, living in two, three rooms between us. My mum, myself, my brother, my sister and my father. It was a big change. We'd grown up in a village with a river close by. A fantastic childhood, I must say. The best childhood anybody could have. All the freedom, the space. So coming from a village way of life to a complete city was a big change. A big change as a child. Everything just seemed so big, huge. I remember the journey leaving my grandparents at my grandpa coming to the train station in Jelen to see us off. And he was waving goodbye and he was running along, you know, one of those typical scenes you see in the movies. He was running along with the train, waving us goodbye. And at that point, I didn't know whether we were ever gonna see him again. We didn't, he died soon after that. Everything was different good different, the resources, being in a proper classroom, for example, having a desk and a chair, having pens, having pencils. In Pakistan, I remember sitting on the floor. I remember having, we called it a slate. So you used a bit of chalk and the slate board so you could write with that. I hardly remember having physical books, very minor memories of having any actual writing books or reading books. So from that, coming to having all these things available was just magic. It was really magic for us. Even now, I remember those feelings of amazement and astonishment that we had this. This was for us. We were able to take advantage of this. This was for me. I was in a classroom and I can do all these things and use all these things. So school was a really magical place for me. Uh, my dad was sharing a house with another um, family, uh, another, another person, and they also brought over their family around about the same time. So we were on the top um, part of the house and the other family had the bottom part of the house. So at that time, like two, three rooms, living in two, three rooms upstairs. My mother, myself, my brother, my sister and my father. 